Hello, I'm Matteo, the chief mobile opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And you might be surprised if you're a regular here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. It's not Tuesday, but we're unboxing a pair of Bluetooth earphones. Yes, this is not Earphone Tuesdays. I'm doing this because this is a time sensitive unboxing of a product that won't be around very long. I'll explain more soon. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Right then, so this is a time sensitive product unboxing because it is a pair of Silvercrest Bluetooth earphones. And for those of you who don't know what Silvercrest is as a brand, it is Lidl, or more correctly pronounced Lidl's uh, own brand of consumer electronics. And in this case, this is a set of earphones that's on a special buy at Lidl the, this week and may not be around for much longer. So the whole point is of me unboxing this product so that you know what my first impressions are after unboxing them and using them for a few hours so that you know if it's worth going out and buying a pair for the grand total price of around about $12.99. Now I'm using my Jerry Rig Everything Knife to take off all the little sticky tape bits that are keeping the transparent plastic lid on top. And inside the box you get a pair of over-ear Bluetooth earphones, which are very, very rem reminiscent of, say, Skull Candy or Sony's uh, lower-end earphones, and they're around about $12.99. Uh, at least that's what I purchased them for for this evening here in Edinburgh. Let's see what else is in the box first. So in the box you also have a courage port to courage port cable. Yes, that's 3.5mm audio to 3.5mm audio, which means that these earphones can be used plugged into a device with a courage port, that's a 3.5mm audio jack, as well as over Bluetooth. And here we have a cable. So this is USB type A to USB micro USB. So not the newest standard. Um, I think that in a device of this price range, that's still acceptable. Just be aware of the fact that if you have a modern smartphone using USB Type-C, you won't be able to use the same charger to charge your earphones. You'll either need a separate cable or an adapter. So that's what's in the box. Let's see what else there is. There is a leaflet about the operations uh, manual, so how you use them. It's quite dry, not much uh, information there. But there is a quick start guide which should do everything we need to find out about. So I'm going to discard the packaging here. And let's look at the earphones themselves. Now they do feel quite light. And what we're going to do in this case is pair the earphones with my Google Pixel 5. So the Google Pixel 5 is one of my main devices at the moment. And I'm going to turn Bluetooth on, which it already is. Let's go into settings and pair a new device. Now what we'll need to do first is actually turn the Bluetooth earphones on, which is done by long pressing the Bluetooth button here. There should be an LED light turning on, if there is a charge. There we are. So long pressing the play button will switch on the Bluetooth earphones, which are now in pairing mode. And then I'm going to maybe go back one pair new device and see if they become available. So there is quite a few different devices here and I believe this is them SBKP4A1. Let's see. Now 
There we are. So we see that they are active and they have a 100% battery. We'll just verify that that's what's actually happening with a quick YouTube music track. And it's nice that they come 100% charged. Now these are uh, Bluetooth 5, which is great because we can see the battery the battery level on the smartphone. So when I pull down my notifications on the Google Pixel 5, you'll see the earphones and the battery level. So what I'm going to do is put the earphones through their paces and then be back in a few seconds for you uh, with some first impressions of how they feel, what the material feels like and how the sound seems to me. Uh, this is a very subjective review, but it will give you an impression and you can then make your own decision on if to go and buy a pair for $12.99 at Lidl or Lidl. I'll be back in a moment. Speak to you soon. Right then, I'm back and after a few hours of using these Silvercrest Bluetooth earphones, um, I have some quite interesting findings to share. Now, for most people, these will be perfectly fine. For $12.99, they're great value for money. Uh, they have some shortcomings, which I'll get to, but the key thing to bear in mind is the price and what you're getting for it. Now, in terms of build quality and materials, they're pretty decent. Soft memory foam pad in the ear earmuffs and in the header uh, band. So great overall quality in terms of build, especially at this price point. I have seen earphone or headsets at a much higher price point with lower quality build. So really good for that and they're relatively light. The other thing is uh, that the headphones do fold up so these might be easy to pack for travel but they don't fold flat so they still take up quite a significant amount of volume when like that. And I'm not too bothered by that. Currently we're in lockdown. Uh, these might just be a set of living room or, or desk earphones. Speaking of desks, I have used these for a few video calls this evening and both with Facebook Messenger and Google Meet, uh, both connected to mobile phones and desktop machines. Uh, they perform very, very well. There are no complaints here. And connecting them to PC on Windows was very, very simple. And the same with Android and iPhone. I've had no issues apart from initially re realizing that it's the play button to turn them on. Um, apart from that, no issue at all. So overall, for basic use, they're fine. The, the performance in terms of video is good. There's very little lag, if any. I personally couldn't find any, and that's probably down to the fact that these have a Bluetooth 5 chipset. Uh, so it works well with YouTube, uh, with Twit TV. I've had no issues, no lag between what someone says and when you hear the sound, which is very good. Now, in terms of sound quality, there's actually something uh, which is not very good. And I've encountered that in my TWS or True Wireless Earbuds uh, playlist, uh, which I'll link to in the description to this video. The sound gets distorted and breaks up with particular audio tracks. Now, if you look at my audio playlist, it has some very, very cheesy music, but it's not just cheesy music. Some of them, is, some of these tracks are really challenging, especially for lower price devices like these uh, Silvercrest Bluetooth on-ear headphones. So, for example, uh, an Ellie Goulding track and a Robin track actually got the distortion to give you that horrible vibration. It just couldn't handle the range of high pitch noise and sound uh, that you get from some cheesy tracks paired with a lot of bass. And it just craps out. It essentially starts going bzz, bzz, bzz. Uh, So I will... I can't play that for you here on the video because we'll get a, a copyright uh, strike on the YouTube channel. We don't, we prefer not having that. But 
believe me, it is there. Uh, it will be something that you will occasionally find in some music tracks, but unlikely to be the majority of them. There's very specific situations where you have high and low bass that really makes the, the speakers not be able to handle that type of audio. But bearing in mind that this is a set of Bluetooth earphones, which costs around about as much as an Apple Lightning cable for an iPhone, not much to complain about. So not the best earphones out there. They do have some limitations, but for the price, the range on Bluetooth is good. The battery life seems to be good. In a couple of hours use, I've only got down to 10% to 90% battery. So very little, very good battery life from what I've seen so far. And overall, quite pleasant to wear in terms of both physical comfort and the sound quality. Bearing in mind that there are limitations where you push things very, very hard. But for most people, for video calls, watching video, listening to some music on YouTube and other music services, they'll be fine. So um, these Silvercrest Bluetooth on-ear headphones are on offer this week at Lidl or Lidl here in the UK. These will likely be available in different countries afterwards. Uh, Lidl have or Lidl have this uh, way of trading where they will have some products like these which are available only for a limited time to push people to buy them when they are available. But I can say that for the price, you're getting a decent set of headphones, not the best, but I would say I wouldn't be too disappointed spending $12.99 on these if there's a few music tracks that aren't so good on them. Apart from that, nothing to complain about. So I'll leave links in the description to where you can see these on the Lidl website. They're available in black and white. If you have any further questions, please do let me know in the comment section below. If you would like to see more videos like this, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from me.